and me and we're back with some more alan wake 2 let's do this Alrighty, friends we have beaten alan wake 2 in the last video of alan wake so now we are checking out night springs which is the dlc for alan wake 2 well technically an expansion i, I keep calling it dlc oh wow there's three episodes okay episode one number one fan Warning, are you sure loading into the episode from this menu will overwrite your progress in the ex existing? What? I haven't even started one. Go. <laughs> I haven't even played it yet. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, mm -hmm. an abbreviation of fanatic what comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself to be a fan is a joyous existence one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life but what if that purpose could be more still if you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? I wish these were actually real. This Tonight's show always seems really cool. Classic episode, number one fan. The best pie in town. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <laughs> yep. But that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. I don't blame her though. Alan Wake's a cutie patootie. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. Uh-huh. Oh, I get to play as her? As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town. So there was plenty of work to do. Is there anything I can get in here, I wonder? Let's see, let's see. I don't even know what I would be getting playing as a waitress. All right. Would I be getting a gun, a flashlight? La la la. Oh, what's it here? Staff? Storage. It's employees only. I'm an employee. How do I know? Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress. Look who it is. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants to top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and <laughs> thank you. All right. Is this, I wonder if this, because I know this is Night Springs, but I wonder if this is how she sees everything in her head. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Oh, comparing yourself to me won't help. You gotta find what you wanna do and do it. Oh, goodness. I believe in you. Wow. You just changed my entire way of looking at the world. Thank you. No problem. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Hi, here's Here some coffee. Go. 
A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. No, no sagely advice from the old waitress today, huh? Here's some coffee. coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations! Oh boy! Thanks. It wasn't easy. All right, last coffee, I guess. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> That's. We sure are. What? That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. Anybody else need any? Sagely advice for me? No? Okay. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! What? Shucks. More good advice, huh? What about this burger? You guys done with your pie? The Hi. writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. What? <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna mention the thing like, oh, you sending me those secret messages in your writing? And he's like, I haven't been doing it. She's like, oh, right. Wink. It, oh my. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Huh? Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Yoga? No. It's fighting off a bear. I I do yoga, and there's no way I could ever fight off a bear. I don't. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Do tree pose? <laughs> what? Downward dog to success. No, I can't. <laughs> Wrong way. Is Knott's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. Those plates won't clear themselves. What? Anybody need advice? Nobody? You don't need advice? You need advice? Nobody need advice, huh? The writer is madly in love with her, but is too shy to make the first move. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Oh boy. What happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But what? it's what's inside that matters, right? <gasps> <laughs> right. Show them the real you and it will all work out. Talk about that mole you worry about when you're trying to fall asleep. Huh? Try that. Don't talk about that. No, don't talk about a mole you worry about when you try to go to sleep. Oh no. Why would you give that kind of advice? You don't just that's not something you break the ice with. Baby, can you want to see this mole that I Fantastic. I better take these plates back to the service window. Oh, back here? Okay. I wonder if they, do we have, do we have it? There's no cook. What's the cook? Excuse me. Can I borrow you? Sure. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. She's gonna, she's gonna. Oh, you're the town's literature buff. She's gonna. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a coffee from the back. Wait, are they not even calling him Alan Wake? It's just the writer? Is that what they... Wait, we have... We have... Alan Wake novels in storage no here? for that. Oh. I've got customers waiting. Uh, for a book! A book! What? Yes? Why do you even... He better not crease any pages. Oh, no. I thought for sure you would have like a thousand copies of each. What's this? All right. Beat Poetry Night at Night's Diner. Night's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literacy adv advancement of Night Springs every Friday at 8 p.m. 
Employee of the Decade Award in recognition of basically being the best at like everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress. <laughs> Wait, what's the, are those? I miss you. Is that her carrying Alan Wake in her arms? And then Alan Wake wearing a cat outfit? He's wearing a cat top. Oh my God, yes, it's Alan Wake with cat ears right here. I didn't even notice that. Employee of the decade in recognition of basically being the best. Oh yeah, yeah, I read that. Don't touch. Is that is that an Alan Wake receipt? <laughs> I think it is. Is that the... Cause he, he's been to this diner in the first game. Like he didn't really get to come here second game. That I remember. God, it's, it feels like it's been forever. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for this rare bird lupus, it's you, yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love will hurt by America's best-selling writer. I don't think Alan Wake would ever write a book like that. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. By America's best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city will hurt. By America's best-selling writer. See, it, death will... Love will hurt, death will hurt, and will hurt. Oh my god, I can't. This is, this is so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Where's the copy of the book? Do I have to hit X on one, maybe? It's me, your oh. favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. What? Luckily, I kept all my accessories what? in the diner's kitchen. Okay, let's go then. I've been graved. Oh, okay. Where's all... Where's all to... Is it like in here? Is that... My accessories. What? what? Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. Um. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. There was no time to waste. Are they the shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. They're all cheap. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Thank you. I will be back after I I win the, the heart of my beloved rider. This was my moment. My chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. I'll tell him, friends. I'll tell him everything. Thank you, friends. Thank you. I'm going to save the world next. I was leaving my old life behind. A body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Oh god. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. I'm gonna use the shotgun. Or here we go. <laughs> I was like, nothing, right? Cause like that door's keeping us out. Is she about to ride a motorcycle? I will absolutely lose it. Don't. Now, who the heck is that? 
Hello. I knew you'd come to his rescue. But who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had wild, you no say. idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. I know. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. So you are telling me in Night Springs that there is a possibility of an Alan Wake sandwich. This might be the best DLC I've ever played. I, I'm only a few minutes in. But you're <laughs> his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. It's if you can't beat him, join him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have love! I have the power of love! Oh, is that right? Well, you're gonna need more than your feelings if you want to stop all of us. Oh, why did that scare me? a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's book. Ow. 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 Okay. Oh, fully fi automatic fire M mode and hold. Oh. Ow. Oops. So I missed that up already. Love never gives up. Wait, how do I dodge again? A monster could be blind to the oh, yeah, yeah. of my writer's books. pick up some stuff <laughs> they're like uh it's three to four hours long for this entire dlc unless you're kill shot kitty and try to play and then it's going to be about f the length of the actual game because you suck <laughs> why do i suck so bad my writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. The twins' motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my rider, and his kidnapper. I found I'm coming. detected from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. 
All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. What? More haters. Where? Oh, I see him now. Ow. That's a rifle. That's a okay. Oh dear. I don't remember. Like, when, when I was killing them, they just blow up. These ones are like, oh, look at the body parts. Like, you would see the skin falling off and the bone getting exposed. Whose car is that? Where are you, Alan Wake, my love? My dear rider. Why hadn't my rider ever told me he had a semi evil twin brother? He must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. Oh boy. All right, what's this? Oh no. Uh, all the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over the city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in sad state, the city of mine, but she was still mine, the filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason, Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain so smoking a soggy cigarette, but that doesn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up. His booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You! He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs, big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Give me one right in, right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. I had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Though the twisting maze, through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him, and he was dropping down the other side of a chain-link fence. He sneered, teeth with like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into my skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind co corner, I expected a trash can lid in the face. None came. Maybe Bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. I tra a trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands as 
hands as up as they'd go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't got to bring your... Ain't gonna, come on, man. Ain't going to bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Sure. Bullets lunch for his ankle. A crack of lightning from my hand and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of wa rainwater. You talk. I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane. I raised my gun level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man? Yeah. I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath. Straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just got... My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to know that, no, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive, artistic nature. I left the alley, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. Oh, boy. All right. I had a feeling it was going to be something about that. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my writer inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little writer? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail writer and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside. That's not what he sounds like. Wait, I passed by this, this, uh, cabin. I couldn't get in. I had no key for it. Oh, it is open. We can finally be together and sit through beat poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My writer only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. <laughs> Life is not unlike a highway. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. Because he's hopped up on steroids. What? That's why you think he's doing this? Because he's hopped up on steroids? Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Become the, becoming the alpha. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. <laughs> DJ Wolf. Is, is Alan Wake's twin brother like a huge Chad? Is that what, is this his cabin? Which room do uh, let's check this one first. Oh, what's that? I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is gone. Can the sea even ever meet the ocean? Huh? All right, let's try this. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. <laughs> You're starting to peed me off, mister. Oh, boy. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. He had crossed the line. Oh, come on. He was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Oh, boy. Torture ideas for Hack Brother. One, car battery, solid potential. Two, pulling fingernails, too messy. Three, the bell. Where do I get a bell? Four, blunt spoon, nice and simple. Five, dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Six, gasoline, fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe overcomplicating things? The Con twin said he was down at the beach. Confront the bad boy at the beach. Is that his name then, bad boy? So it's the my writer and the bad boy. Okay. Why do I feel like he's gonna beat me over the head with something? <laughs> Not this beach. This beach. <gasps> okay, it's this beach, guys. We're going to the right beach. Woo! 
276 ammo for my shotgun. Hello, bad boy. You're gonna try to swoon me. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. What? Okay. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring. He dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth. He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Tell me. Tell me where he is. <sighs> what did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that. <laughs> At the boatyard. I feel overshadowed by success. Like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> it's a self-confidence thing. Uh... Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. No. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't want <laughs> being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms its mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> what? Oh! He tricked me, even with my famous keen perception. Ow, okay. Fills. My gun's hungry. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, stop. You can stop. You can stop that. Okay, are those all missing or something? Fine. Okay, you guys gotta stop that. You gotta stop that. You gotta stop that. You gotta stop that. One of the pills, like, refills my health all the way. Music stop. Does that mean I got a ball? I'm good. Bueno. Is that the mansion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should not be going the wrong way. Oops. Wrong gun on me. Pretty. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. 
But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. Sure. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. <sighs> we were connected by love and destiny. Yep. He was meant to be mine always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. Oh, wait, is this his mansion? Is he living at the, the nursing home? Oh, geez. Well, let's go open this. Okay. Are those hearts? Ooh. They're all hearts. Okay. I think I got Oop. Oh boy. Talks to the bad boy where? Oh. oh, is he inside now? Oh, he's on the... Go ahead. Finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, 
Go save him. Oh, I intend to. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Let us go stop these haters. Let's grab some more ammo, shall we? Woo! Oh boy, okay. What's that? Contributions to art and artistry across the globe. The recipient is hereby recognized as a champion of literature who embodies all spiritual and physical qualities valued in one pursues the art of writing presented by a, the Society of High Art. Get well soon, card. Dearest brother, news reached me that your journey across Europe has taken a turn for the worse. I was utterly and completely devastated to hear you have been afflicted with a serious case of lycanthropy while riding your motorcycle through the Nordics. I know you haven't spoken in, I know we haven't spoken in years, but please know that my thoughts are always with you, my dear monozygotic brother. Please contact me upon your return to America. Until then, I hope this card finds you well on your way to speedy recovery. Dearest regards, your brother. P.S. Due to your roadbound lifestyle, I do not know where to send this card. I have written this message as a symbol of my fraternal love, and I shall leave it upon my mantle in the hopes that one day you shall read it. There's so many books everywhere. Oh, I can't even pick up more ammo. He must be upstairs. All right. My darling Alan. get published yes just keep going up I guess Ideas for next book. Inventive murder weapons, stapler, lawn gnome, swordfish, philosophy. Escalate the crime, plunge the depths of humanity's darkness. A murder religion? Hero's motivation? A rival pri private eye? His wife returns from the dead only to be killed a second time? Too much? Not enough? A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with the weapon. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. <laughs> What's this say? Hair beard regimen twice a week. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. Brought locally, bought locally at the farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Rinse with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Condition often. Have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. Yes, you do. General rules. Never wear hats. Once a month. Rub three mixed eggs. Bought locally at the farmer's market. Into damp hair, scalp, and beard. Avoid chlorine, heat, and inexperienced barbers. Is this how she imagines Alan Wake does his hair? Oh my goodness. And there he was. A 
After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. Oh my goodness! He me now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. <laughs> that was so fun! Uh, and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? There's none. One can never tell in night springs. Let's go. Right, and that was episode one out of the three episodes in Night Springs. I really enjoyed that episode. I can't wait to see what they have for the next ones because I, I I thought I saw something like completely different when they were advertising this. I, didn't, I don't remember seeing that one being advertised. Let me know what you thought of this episode. All right, friends, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe. Check out our memberships for some cool stuff. And if you like live gaming content, I have my Twitch channel linked below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Uh, 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 uh,